Well everyone, it is that time again, time to get on the road and travel to the next YouTube channel related function. I am going to Las Vegas for NAB and I am pumped. I haven't been to Vegas since 2018 when I flew from this very airport to work on the Gwen Stefani Just a Girl show that was part of her Las Vegas residency again back in 2018. So NAB this year, it was kind of a last minute decision. Brandon Talbot hooked me up and let me know I could get in on his Airbnb, hooked me up with a pass to NAB. Josh Satin is going, who's a good friend of the channel. Both of them are in my Discord server that I run for my fellow YouTube creators that either make Final Cut Pro content or use Final Cut Pro to create their content. I'm going to meet some new creators out here as well. Tyler Edwards is going to be uh, with our crew of four people. And then, of course, Dylan Bates is going to be there. Also, Doc Rock. Now, if you're not familiar with who these are, I'm going to have links in the description to their channels so you can check them out. We're going to jump on a plane. We've got a direct flight to, uh, to Los Vegas today about three hours and we are going to get started with this NAB so uh, let's do it. So something that was really important to me in showing up to Las Vegas, meeting Brandon, Tyler, and Josh in person for the first time was to just be in the moment. I didn't want to shove a camera in everybody's faces and be vlogging the entire time. I wanted to be present in the moment and connect with my friends that I've only known through Discord for the last year or so. So this was a great opportunity to get some ramen and check out Las Vegas. We were all pretty exhausted from a day of travel, so we headed back to the Airbnb and got some sleep so we could go on a morning hike. Wow, this is beautiful out here. We're up in Red Rock Canyon. Uh, woke up early uh, at dark, and we're gonna get uh, some footage and photos of this epic sunrise here in uh, the Nevada, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada area, and uh, be out here in Vegas to try to make some connections with some brands and all that, of course, and uh, bring you all along with me riding shotgun while we uh, check out NAB. We're all gonna be vlogging on this hike and uh, backlit by our beautiful sunrise. You know, I've talked on the channel a lot about just like wanting to get out and explore, get away from the studio sometimes, not necessarily always creating content, but whether it was taking my family somewhere or going out with friends like these guys uh, to different events. Not, and again, not, it doesn't even have to be sort of work related like NAB. It could be just, it could just be a trip with the guys to go do whatever. You know, having that community, that sense of going to new places, traveling, exploring, that's really, really something I want to do more of. And this is a great opportunity to be able to do that. All right, so we uh, we overlooked a little something on our way to uh, oh, you're Red Rock Canyon, this? and so you're we're facing much making we're facing right now. we're facing a little bit of an obstacle here on our on our hero's journey through Nevada. I'm gonna blame the new um, I forgot to check the fuel gauge before Brandon <laughs> <laughs> I like drove off. Like uh, That's like, <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> we have 16 miles to a gas station, and the, the fuel light just came on. The right, and that's not including this big scenic drive loop that we're going on. So, uh, you know, we might run out of gas and have to hoof it to a gas station, buy a big red can, and be those people walking back to the FJ. I'm, uh, uh, I'm a little filled nervous. up with gas. Brandon's getting a little nervous. We're all in at this point. Uh, do we have enough snacks? Do we have enough snacks? To the universe phone. Yeah. No, I yeah. got. I got. Uh, pre workout that I have it uh, on we We're gonna need that before we walk, yeah, we we walk to go get the gas. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna push the <laughs> we're gonna push the FJ with the power of EPO. <laughs> oh yeah. Well we made it. We did. No we're thanks to you, Matt. He tried to jinx us. <laughs> I should have checked the gauge before we left, you know? I, I usually do that on That's other people's vehicles. That's I always check mistake. their gas level before we go someplace. And I totally Josh, forgot. Can... I'll just put it on all our tabs, okay? Make sure you keep track of all this. I want an invoice. What up? What up? We're in West Side. So we all agreed that there were two things missing from our Saturday afternoon, and that was donuts and dams. We scored these awesome donuts from Pinkbox. They were absolutely amazing and then we drove up to the hoover dam i had never seen it before and let me tell you it was unbelievable 
drove out to the Hoover Dam. Check it out. Fueled by 600 grams of sugar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got a full day, so if we go get some brunch and then we go back home, we can just chill sleep in. Went back to Vegas, got some brunch, hung out at the Airbnb for a while, grabbed some dinner at Holstein's for some awesome burgers and cocktails, but we were wiped and it was time to get ready for day one of NAB. But first, we had to get some delicious coffee. We're in old Las Vegas. There's a coffee shop here called Mothership Coffee that was highly recommended by uh, a friend from Omaha. Uh, so we're gonna check it out before we head over to NAB, get some good caffeine. So let's uh, let's get some coffee and head over to the convention center. Yes, all the way. First sip. It's good. It's good. It's a little lighter than what I usually get, but uh, pretty tasty. All right, we're doing the death march from the parking lot to the convention center. We still have to register. There's gonna be a huge line. Uh, we're not getting into this place for another. 30 to 45 minutes, I bet. We can do a lot of vlogging while we're waiting in line. Yeah, we can do a lot of vlogging and some shit talking. But by the way, uh, Mothership was pretty good. Not my favorite. Archetype still holds that, but uh, but it's, you know, pretty good. And it's a cool area. It, it was very cool. I was I was like the coolest part about it. Yeah. Coffee, eh, yeah, yeah. Tyler did not like it. Yeah, Tyler didn't like it. Felt, felt it was sour, needed to add milk and sugar. It's all good though. We'll take him to a, we'll take him to a 7-Eleven, get him some good stuff. <laughs> You guys, I cannot say enough good things about NAB. That first day was really a magical experience, not only getting to hang with Brandon, Tyler, and Josh, but to be able to go to all the different booths and exhibits for all the brands that I love and want to connect with on my channel. It was amazing seeing all of the innovation and the technology that was coming out, especially the stuff that would benefit me and my content creation. The Canon booth, the Condor Blue booth, the B&H booth, the Road booth, Small Rig booth. I got to meet Ted Sim, the founder of Aperture. We finally connected with Doc Rock and Dylan Bates, the final cut bro. Our crew was assembled and we were ready to take on NAB by storm. Deity released new microphones, all kinds of cool tech and amazing new things at NAB and if you have never been and you're in the world of content creation and filmmaking, I highly, highly recommend checking it out oh, next to. year. Hey. Yeah, so day one at NAB in the bag. I, I, I was so cooking in my pants walking over. <laughs> yeah, like, you why were. did I throw on short? Oh, pants in the <laughs> desert, 85 degrees. First day's over. It was great. We're gonna head back to the Airbnb and hang out, figure out what's for dinner and what we're gonna do tonight. Final cut, bro. This could be so fun. Final cut. <laughs> I don't have a hat on, man. Did you have a good time? Dude, I, I actually had to get more. Even though I feel super out of place, I had a blast. All right, so day one is in the bag and day two is off to a good start. I didn't do a lot of vlogging, but I met with the Glyph Technologies folks and that was great. I met over at Seagate and talked about some of their big hard drives. And then of course I met Mr. Alex Tech, a DaVinci Resolve YouTuber, and that was great. So Kudo had this awesome rig that lets you flip the camera from horizontal to vertical. And uh, Doc Rock and Dylan Bates and I hung out at the Sure booth hearing about all of their microphones. All right, we're saying goodbye to NAB. We're all, oh, we're all done. Uh, this will just finish. I, I this will just. just in there. This is just going to finish off my vlog because uh, I didn't really film anything today or much yeah. yesterday. We're but uh, we're 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 done. Dylan's here for another day. Brandon and I are leaving tomorrow, um, and it was great. But yes. we're tired, and there's a lot of uh, so sound tired. here that's assaulting our brains. <laughs> now, <laughs> convention center back. We're going to go to In and Out Burger and meet yes. up with uh, a bunch of creators and stuff. Double and double and animal go to style sleep and leave. See ya. Bye, NAB. It was great. Love you. Love your show. So David Altizer organized another meetup at In-N-Out Burger uh, at NAB 2023, and it was great to meet a bunch of other content creators while we were there, including, of course, David Altizer. We, of course, had to get a double-double, and I hit it up with Doc Rock getting an extra cheeseburger because my first one was so good. 
getting some in and out with Doc Rock. Only way to do it. <laughs> Double, double. It was great spending time with creators like Brandon Washington, Michael Tobin, Caleb Hoover, Paul Feinberg. Community building happening at NAB was just off the charts, but it was time to go home. So that's it. NAB is a wrap, at least for me. It's going to still be going on this week, of course, and some people that I know from YouTube and uh, other places are going to be continuing their week here in Las Vegas. But today is my last day. It is about 9.15 in the morning, and I've got to check out of this hotel by 11 a.m. I've got a flight at around 1 o'clock, heading back to Omaha. So uh, when I get back, I want to hit the ground running with getting more content out to all of you. Final Cut Pro, Apple Tech, and of course, filmmaking content. So let's go back to the studio and sit down and chat about everything that came up in NAB and what my thoughts were on not only the show itself, but connecting with some of my close friends from the Final Cut fam. All right, so I know this vlog isn't like some big in-depth uh, recounting of my experience with the actual substance of NAB. It's very glossed over and just uh, kind of an overview of what the experience was at actual NAB. So if you are watching this and you're feeling a little bit disappointed in how specific I got about NAB, please watch my live stream. I have the link down below. If you're watching this before my live stream comes out, I'll have it updated with the link as soon as the live stream is over. But I did want to touch on a few of the things for this vlog that were key highlights for me at NAB. First thing being at the Aperture booth, the 150C and 350C Amaran lights were pretty exciting. The most exciting thing about them was the price tag. These are incredibly affordable, I believe at $350 and $550 a piece, and definitely something that I'm thinking about putting into my studio to swap out my original 120Ds that are acting up a little bit and get some newer, more powerful lights into my studio. The second piece of tech that I found really exciting for filmmakers in general and content creators was Deity's new lav mic. It records 32-bit float internally. It's got time code in and time code out, and it can run for 30 hours on two AA batteries. This was a really exciting piece of tech, and I'm really excited about what Deity is doing with their entire lineup. Lastly, I want to touch on the Rode booth. The Rode booth had a lot of exciting products. The one that I'm most excited about is the Rodecaster Duo. I think that'll be a good fit in my live stream setup so I can monitor audio from my demo computer but not hear my voice back in my ears with a little bit of a delay. It makes my brain kind of hurt when I'm doing live editing and it makes me want to do live editing less because of it. Now, what was great about talking to Rode was I spoke with their head of communications and they're interested in sending me some products to sample so I can see how it works in my workflow and how it may be valuable to all of you watching. Now, of course, at NEB, there was a lot of connections made, a lot of networking, a lot of community building. I spoke with the folks at Tentacle Sync Studio. I spoke with the folks at Hedge about Post Lab and their new rebranded program, which was formerly called Hedge, but now called Offshoot, that allows you to transfer data safely and securely while you're on site. Set. I also spoke with Glyph Technologies, who make really great external hard drives for pro workflows. I also spoke with Aperture. I spoke with Small Rig. I spoke with Seagate. I talked to Condor Blue and Audio Design Desk, a number of different exhibits where we spoke with the engineers, the sales staff, and the marketing departments, and it was great to get connected with them and to get my channel on their radar for future collaborations. One disappointment I had was with the Canon booth. They came out with a new RF cinema lens that was really, really impressive, but it's so expensive and so highly specialized that it's not something that would really pertain to my content creation or client work workflows. And what we heard from one of the sales reps that we spoke to, he didn't think that there would be anything of note as far as cinema cameras until maybe toward the end of the year or even in 2024. So sort of like Apple, the disappointment there with the lack of updates to Final Cut Pro, there was some general disappointment there with Canon, another big brand that I love and use regularly. I'm shooting on the EOS R right now, and my live stream camera is the C300 Mark II. But I wanna talk briefly about really my biggest takeaway from NAB 2023. I spoke earlier about how I craved adventure getting out. The big thing that really hit me was really the connections with all the people there, from Brandon, Josh, Tyler, to Dylan Bates, to Doc Rock, to meeting David Altizer, to meeting Mr. Alex Tech, to meeting David Manning, to meeting Caleb Pike, Gerald Undone, a number of different YouTube content creators that I was able to meet and network with and spend some time with. I went to NAB planning to talk to a lot of brands, 
to put myself on their radar, to understand what they stood for, what they were about, what their innovative roadmap was for 2023 and beyond. Mostly to figure out what I can do to secure those relationships, to make my channel more profitable, to increase revenue, and of course, to bring the most value I can to you. But the most profit that I got in NAB 2023 was really from cementing the friendships that had already started with Brandon, with Josh, with Tyler, with Doc Rock, and Dylan Bates. I've known them through the internet, through our channels, and through the Discord server that I run, but we had never met in person. So being able to spend time face-to-face -to, -face to speak beyond just the business of YouTube and what we talk about in our Discord server all the time, that really was a, a powerful experience. And it really made the weekend, and I know this sounds a little corny, but it really was special. It was magical in a sense to not only know that I connected well with them through Discord and through the internet, but that that connection went even deeper and intensified uh, with meeting them in person. They are just really good, solid dudes, selfless, caring. They listen, they relate to what you're going through. It was all parts sort of group therapy, all parts fun and excitement. And uh, that was my biggest takeaway from NAB 2023, the relationships that I strengthened with the friends that I've made through my YouTube channel and my resolve to continue those relationships and build them even more throughout the year. And then, you know, to further cement them at hopefully NAB 2024, that's the biggest takeaway. And I couldn't be happier and richer as a result of the friendships and relationships I have from uh, from the internet, from YouTube, and from NAB 2023. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me riding shotgun while I took you to Las Vegas to NAB 2023. I can't wait to do this again in 2024, and you all will ride shotgun, of course, for that as well. That's all I've got for now. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.